August 13th, 2020. Um, we have a number of issues under Title 33, the tree permit, right of way, uh, and public land. Um, there have been now three tree permits issued for Elmwood, um, one for 64, one for 66, and one for mm -hmm. 70 Elmwood. And I think uh, there are two removals in there and one um, deadwood pruning. And uh, they've now gone through the process. So uh, I'm just waiting for Andrew uh, Jiggy to uh, schedule the work on that. Uh, the true tree removals uh, are not thought to be urgent. Uh, one of them could wait until winter probably, and it might be better to do that just simply because of the weight of the tree. Any questions on uh, that one? Okay. Um, we do have a chat and you do have the ability to raise your hand. So if you want to do it that way, I'm fine with that as well. Um, next item, uh, there was a, um, a tree. It's at the intersection of Mary Street and Central Avenue. It's a very large sycamore. It's dropping branches on an adjacent house. Uh, I checked it out. Uh, it's in pretty healthy condition, but uh, yes, there are some branches, typically sort of four inch type branches on this sycamore that uh, uh, need to be removed. And so I've put in a tree permit for that one to have some deadwood pruning on it. Um, I haven't had it confirmed yet as the, whether it's in the right of way, but it's so close to the street, I'm pretty sure it is in the right of way. <coughs> and so it'll go on to Andrew again for scheduling some uh, uh, maintenance. Any questions on that one at all? It's a lovely tree. If you get a chance, go and have a look at it. Uh, it's probably one of the best developed sycamores I've seen for a long time. I used to live right across the street from that tree. I know exactly the one you're talking about. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> tree, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Mary, it's your turn now. Okay, sure. Um, Arbor Day <laughs> Committee. So if you want to introduce yourself and just uh, give us some background on what it is you want to talk to us about. Uh, sure. Actually, Andrew invited me to the meeting today. So if you guys had anything you wanted me to talk about, be sure to let me know. Um, hello, everybody. I know David Lee, you look familiar. Uh, Nancy, I don't think we have met yet. And I actually don't know Scott's role with the city. So I'd be interested in finding out what that is. Scott is the person who sets up the video. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, and the um, government yeah. channel is uh, is Ryan. He's he's one of the other people. So okay, to, okay, to great. Yeah. So great. And well, I'm here. Go ahead. I just wondered what, what were you, uh, how are you connected with us? Uh, so I'm here representing the Athens Arbor Day Committee. Ah. And uh, Andrew asked if I would attend tonight's meeting. And I said, sure. Uh. And uh, Andrew shared with me a spreadsheet where it listed some trees that the Arbor Day Committee uh, oh, okay. And right. also a couple of photographs. And I, I can show those if you if you want me to share them with uh, people. Uh, it's, yeah, it's up to uh, if you, if you, if you want to reference folks if they want well. to see them. I, I wasn't clear what the pictures of the, of the street uh, yeah, and I don't, was about. I don't know um, which photos he sh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll get to that. I'll get to both of those things. I'll just okay. give you a little bit of background, which is mm -hmm. we revamped the Arbor Day Committee starting in 2017. And I don't know who in this group, I know you were, David, you were a member of the group back then. But a couple of the other members attended a couple of the Tree Commission meetings when we first relaunched. So Sarah Landers Cornwell attended one and Attila Horvath attended one to introduce ourselves. But I wasn't there, so I don't know how many of you were there at the time. Um, so we have been doing um, just a couple plantings a year. We all work full time and are kind of squeezing this in because we're devoted to the topic. Um, and when Andrew reached out to me, he said that uh, he's working on an application for Tree City USA and he wanted to know how many trees we had planted. So that's what I shared with him a spreadsheet. So yeah. from fall 2017 until now, we have planted a total of 63 trees. And uh, I can probably just fill you in on what's on that spreadsheet. We started, uh, Ann Bonner was really helpful at the beginning with us. And we started with kind of what I would call a soft launch with the city. And we planted at a couple of um, cemeteries. 
So we just went with Ron Lucas. We looked at the sites. We did those plantings. They went fine. And then from there, we moved on to some more what you might consider proper street trees. So the trees on West Union near the roundabout, we planted those fall 2019. Um, and we were going to join with Ohio University this year. Instead of doing a beautification day with a bunch of different projects, the plan was to plant as many trees as possible. But I don't need to tell everybody here what happened this spring. <laughs> and so the whole effort got canceled, um, unfortunately. And I don't know when we're going to pick up that effort again, but the idea is through um, OU's various offices of student engagement to try to do a massive tree planting. Someday, obviously with the coronavirus and not even all the students are coming back right away this fall, we just don't know when that's going to happen. So in the meantime, the photos I had sent to uh, Andrew were just places that we would like to plant trees. And I'm sure all of you are familiar with it. College Street has a yeah. few of those tree islands um, and they took trees out. It must've been at least four years ago. And those trees have never been replaced. Um, well, there's, there's one right. of the sites that um yeah, so this is one of the next sites that we were looking at at planting. And, you know, we may try to do it this fall if we just do a really small group of volunteers where we can socially distance, wear our masks. Or, you know, we may decide that it's not wise to do a planting this fall. Do, well, I guess we'll do what seems like the right, the right thing to do. So that's kind of where, where we've been and what we've been doing. And then one more project we have coming up. And if, if those of you are on Facebook, please follow us on Facebook. So it's just facebook.com slash Athens Arbor Day Committee. Again, we're all just volunteers. We're not, we're really only active a couple of times a year. But we do uh, post uh, what we're doing and when on the Facebook page for people who want to volunteer. And we usually get volunteers from OU as well. And um, we are going to, um, we are going to help out with a project that we didn't spearhead, but it's a project that I, I think we'll be able to do next year. Again, we don't know because of the pandemic, but the idea is to collect some of the red oak acorns from the college green oak trees. And um, I, I like that Nancy is smiling. She likes this idea. <laughs> Me too. It wasn't mine. I can't take credit for it. Um, but we're going to help with the help of the Eco House and others. Todd Swearingen, we're going to um, germinate as many of those college green okay. red oaks as we can. Uh, we're going to give a bunch away on Earth Day, um, which is what happened last year with the trial run with a couple of people who did it on their own last year. So we're gonna give some away at Earth Day. So we don't actually have to do the planting, um, but what we're also going to do is try to sell some at graduation. Again, we don't know if there's gonna be a graduation next year. I really hope so. And at homecoming so that it can be a fundraiser for us, the Arbor Day Committee, so that we can then buy the larger trees that will have a better success mm -hmm. rate. So I'll keep it at that and um, just, Take questions if you have any. Uh, what, what question I got for you? Uh, some of those sites on, um, I think it's College Street, are ones that the university have planted trees in other tree pits. Have you worked with Susan Calhoun at all? Uh, yes, but I have to follow up with Susan again. When we were working on this this spring, I actually spoke with um, Sam Crowell right before he was meeting with Susan, um, and. He, the last from him was, um, I guess if you want to plant them there, it's fine. But I do, before we go through with it, want to finalize yeah. it, not only with the city, but with Susan Calhoun. And because I'd love it if the university would plant the trees there because they do yes. a great job at selection, planting, and maintenance. Yeah, yeah. But they um, haven't planted any there in many years. <laughs> yeah. So how does, the, how does the group decide where they're, what sites they're going to use? Well, um, that's a great question. Our, you know, our, our mission is to plant trees in uh, public spaces with public benefit. So we just look at places that we think would have the most public benefit. So for example, something like College Street, like what we're talking about now, or West Union last year where we planted, these are high pedestrian areas. You know, so a lot of people will see them, enjoy them, get involved in planting them. Um, and then just where we can get permission to plant them, where people want them to be planted. We have a lot of 
places we would like to plant them, but we just haven't quite gotten there yet. We'd like to work with um, Athens Transit to plant some trees by bus stops where people are kind of standing yeah. withering in the sun in the summer. And they asked just initially to um, hold off because as you saw, they put some bus um, bus stops that are solar paneled at some of those. So of course they didn't want us planting trees there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we still need to continue to try to work with them to nail down some sites where we can get permission to plant those trees. Well, so I, that's essentially I, it. I walk through my neighborhood a lot because I have dogs. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's, I mean, you in this time of, of year, you walk uh-huh. from place shade to shade to shade. Exactly, exactly. And, um, there are places in my neighborhood I know where the shade just doesn't exist. Exactly. And it seems like that would be another possible yes. place to think about. Sure, for sure. What neighborhood is yours, Nancy? I live in the far east side. Yeah, and I know um, Ann Bonner just shared with me I asked her, or more correctly, Terrence Hanley um, and I were talking recently. He's a former service forester with ODNR, and he lives on the near east side near me. And we were talking recently about um, any tree inventories. And so we're kind of working on getting that finalized. There has been some work done here and there. I mean, the bottom line is we've lost a lot of trees. I am. I'm working on getting it. I Jackie, Jackie, you've started. You've given us a lot. Well, she she just needs to give me. She works for the city of Cincinnati, Uh and I reached. I actually was in a webinar with her boss today, and I said, "Hi." So we're on the path of getting that. Great. Be really useful to. Who is Jackie? Was she an OU student? She was. Yeah, she was a master's student in GIS, and she Uh did. She did a follow up inventory from the street tree inventory that was done by ACRT, which was a, you know, a Davy resource competitor um, in 1992. So she looked at the, the, and it was a tree tree inventory looking at individual trees and um, it's pretty, pretty astounding findings. And, um, you know, I think it'll be something we can work, you know, can look at on where we're seeing trees. Do you have your hands on it at all, Anne, on the inventories? I, I, I have the old one, but I don't have Jackie's. Um, well, Sid, I'd, like, uh, I'd like to see Ron the Lucas has a copies of Jackie's, but I, you know, Ron's moved on. So I'm trying to get it from Jackie and she's, you know, she has a brand new baby and a brand new. Job. So we're in contact. I just, she just hasn't sent it to me yet. I well, think some, just, someday I'd like to see the old one just to see what it's like and see how they did it. Yeah. So yeah. It was can... computer, so at, at, and so if David Riggs or Andrew could dig it up, um, the city paid t- more than twenty thousand dollars for this. How much? In, you in cut out twenty. Yeah, in uh, about twenty thousand dollars in the ni- early nineteen nineties. Well, we should then readily be able they to got, get our hands on it. <laughs> yeah, they got a grant to do it. Um, yeah, so they have a paper copy somewhere at the city, and they also, but it was on DOS. The DOS system, wow. so whether that's <laughs> applicable to modern day computers, I don't know. But I, I do have a paper copy in my office. I have a broken foot right now, so I haven't been to my oh, office. Oh, no. But but I can get it to you guys, you know. Well, some maybe someday when you when you when you get back to the office, you could just when we can are allowed to be together. That is um, yeah, it's real thick. It's not something I could copy. And we could, and we could come and look at it. Just yeah. not, we don't need to. We don't. I mean, I don't need to to know all the details. I just like to see how how it was developed and what kind yeah. of information was put in it and stuff. It's just interesting. I've heard about it for years and never seen it. Yeah. Well, and I think if we can get Jack, Jackie's is on a spreadsheet. Uh-huh. So, you know, we could, I'll email that to everybody when I get it. Okay. So how is your foot? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just can't drive. Oh, good. <laughs> I see it. Okay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Mary, I had one more question for you. Um, mm-hmm. We have normally an Arbor Day celebration uh, in the city. Um, we often put it off until the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, has Andrew spoken to you about having an Arbor Day celebration this fall at all? It's, uh, uh, again, that's something that uh, when there wasn't an Arbor Day committee, the Tree Commission basically took it over. But apparently it was a re- it was instigated by the Arbor Day committee. 
mm-hmm. um, and the mayor would declare it a special day and all the rest of it. And the history is that uh, frequently in the spring, when the Arbor Day Society have their typical Arbor Day, it tended to be very close to the Earth Day or the Beautification Day. And so mm-hmm. what we tended to do was try and schedule uh, a tree planting at uh, a place near to one of the schools. So mm-hmm. we could have a, a class of school children out. Right. And then uh, Ron Lucas would do a, um, a, a demonstration of uh, planting trees and mulch mm-hmm. and just a, yeah. uh, a short uh, uh, piece of uh, education for the, uh, for the children. Andrew has not mentioned that to me yet. Okay. Okay. And I do know that just informally we have talked about once these new, you know, the school buildings are built and renovated, reaching out to the schools. Yeah. I mean, presumably part of the whole plan and money spent is to plant some trees. And you may have noticed, you know, at East Elementary, they did keep the large oaks there. We hope they survive. <laughs> yeah, I think they're very close to where they're running heavy construction equipment yeah, across are. their routes. Um, they, yep. they didn't You're really right. give them enough space. Yeah. Um, and um, the uh, uh, I'm not sure if you joined the meeting when I was just uh, talking to Nancy about the plans that we have uh, received from uh, Morrison. Uh, we saw those at our last meeting and they'll be attached to the minutes when they get published okay. after this meeting. Uh, that's that, that I, I was uh, describing that as I, I felt that that was a pretty good plan. Uh, oh, good. Planting trees. And anything like that that you would want us to share on our Facebook page, we can, because then maybe more people will see it. Yeah. Um, and just so you know, the because the school district is a separate political subdivision, the city of Athens doesn't have any control over what trees they plant or how many they plant and so on. Okay. Uh, just like the, the uh, mental health hospital uh, mm-hmm. as well uh, is uh, a separate uh, entity. And the university, of course. Yeah. So we have we have lots of people. We don't have any uh, ability to um, tell them to plant trees, but they often come to us and ask us uh, for advice and so on. Mm-hmm. Are there any other questions for Mary? Thanks, Mary, for coming. Yep. Yeah, thank you very much. I will yes. mute myself and just hang out. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is uh, very exciting to, uh, <laughs> to hear what you all are doing and... The, the more trees, the better. Yes. That's right. <laughs> okay. So uh, the agenda, I've just popped up on my on the shared screen, uh, the agenda. We've run through the first three items on under Title 33. Um, uh, title 37, uh, I promise to put this on the agenda as a, as a repeat item each uh, week. Um, I haven't been consulted over revisions uh, to Title 37. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has, uh, or if, uh, Peter, you want to comment on the... Uh, was, was Part of that was uh, the native trees and native plants. Wasn't it part of the possible plan that they were talking about? I don't when David know. Was talk- when David was talking about it last time, didn't he say that was part of it? I don't know. They were going to include something in the in the in the new stuff about native trees. You don't remember that? No. Nope. I was just saying that when I was looking at the list of trees at the Morrison School. Mm-hmm. I know Chris Fall. This is Mary definitely, again. Definitely I know Chris. Huh? I know that Chris Fall has told me that that's in the works. So I've just heard it, but haven't seen it. Uh, correct. It was uh, it was uh, presented at council committee on uh, on Monday night, and so I can uh, I can forward that document out to um, to everyone so that they can uh, they can see that. Um, I- that would be good. Will Will there be a council session where people can make public comments? Yeah. Has there is there any from your looking at it, Peter? Is there any? change it that will be expected from the shade tree commission or any other other roles that we would need to play or peter are you there <laughs> i think he froze out mid-sentence He's, huh that what i said was is are the things that you've been reading 
is there any uh, effect on uh, on what the Shade Tree Commission is doing? Is there things that we need to be different, doing differently or in addition to? Or? I think we he's dropped. Been, we I think been he's dropped out. That, Nancy, I don't think he can hear you. I, I think his connection has failed. Oh. So we're going to have to wait for him to send us a copy. And I will try, endeavor to find out if the uh, uh, council is going to have a period of public comment. I would hope they would allow for public comment on these things. Now, I'm, I'm looking at the participants and Peter's definitely dropped out. Um, and you can see our code directors there. Um, David, do you have anything to update us on in terms of Title 37, uh, say Menards, for instance? I get unmuted there. Good evening, everybody. Um, I did send an email to Menards to remind them about the requirement to provide uh, their the tree bank, uh, the, that amount of money, and the amount escapes me right now. I can't think of what it was. Uh, 38000 haven't received any any response from from that email so I, i'm gonna have to follow up with a letter from the city uh requesting that uh, we receive that i'd like to see it before they open and i think they're supposed to open in a in a few weeks I, that's the rumor i've heard anyway so um that i that i'm gonna do over the next in the next week or two i'll send a, an official letter out uh asking for that uh, check that would go into the tree bank okay good thank you uh, is there anything else uh, under Title 37? I'm watching to see if there are any hands up. I don't see any hands. I have a question. Certainly. Um, it relates to the idea that uh, if trees aren't planted within a certain period of time, uh, then uh, I think after two years, then uh, and what statute of limitations or what they runs out and then they don't have to plant them. But we, as I recall, we usually give uh, 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 the, the developer two years or the owner two years to plant trees. But can we, can, can we continue to do that if, uh, if after two years they're no longer obliged to do it? So that's a, that's a question I we're going to have to ask the yeah. um, uh, the legal people about when they okay. when we're looking at the revisions. Okay. Um, but uh, the it's actually two seasons, and so more recently we've been trying to make sure they either do it in spring and fall. And um, it is a case that uh, uh, we have uh, as long as they are within. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would have said that if we told them when they can plant and then two years after that date they haven't planted, that, that would be my understanding of the, how the limitations would work. Uh, the issue over the um, Don Wood was that they hadn't submitted a plan despite us requesting it and the code director viewed the key date in that, the date at which the planning commission had approved the plans for Don Wood. Mm. And so that was when he felt the clock or when the law director thought the clock had started on the two year period. And that after that, it didn't matter. Um, I don't agree with that, but that was, I believe is the interpretation that was placed uh, on that. Seems like a pretty short time. Yep, I'd agree. Any other questions on Title 37? If not, I don't have anything under the maintenance of tree canopy. Uh, is there any other business?
If not, I have the minutes okay. to look at. David, I'm sorry. Could I Certainly. interrupt? Certainly. Um, I just wanted to let you all know that the Ohio Department of Natural Resources um, Urban Foresters are putting together a webinar series. I know we're all sick of webinars, but uh, with COVID, I won't be able to do my conference um, yet again. And so every Wednesday in September from 9 to 12, we are going to have an incredible lineup of presenters. These are world-class presenters. Everyone from David Nowak with the U.S. Forest Service, the one doing the climate research, um, to Nicole Cavender, who works for Morton Arboretum and is actually from Athens, um, to, to, to many others, uh, people from American Forests and the Arbor Day Foundation. So if you can... Um, subscribe to my new email when I send you emails out. If you press a little button, subscribe to it, you're gonna get invitations to these things. And then all you do is register, they're free. Um, there is a limit on registration. We're, you have to, we're only gonna allow 800 people in each one, which sounds like a lot of people, but we've had, you know, sometimes these webinars will have thousand people on them. So if you're interested in a topic, definitely um, register. And they, they yeah. I promise, are going to be first rate. I, I saw your email, and uh, I thought I registered, but I don't remember anything about subscribing. So you, d I think Lee and Nancy, Dave, you, I think Dave Ingram registered too, right? There was, like, I think there was four or five people from Athens that I saw. So I will send it out probably next week. I'll get get another reminder out. Um, you don't have to sign up for all of them if you don't want to go to all of them, um, but. But how, how do I find out if I'm already, if I've done it? Can I? Um, I will, I will, I will ask. I will look it up for you, Nancy. <laughs> and I'll send you an email. Okay. But, but the big question here, Anne, is who's providing lunch? <laughs> I know. Maybe we could get like carry out from Chopsticks. <laughs> it's so sad. I, it's so sad. I think it's called hot luck. <laughs> 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 I had a question for you. Um, there are many of those I won't be able to fit in during the day. Um, quite often with webinars, they're recorded, so you can watch them later, either through YouTube or some other means. Are these going to be recorded? They are going to be recorded, and uh, but you do need to register. Okay. So if you register, uh, what will happen is you'll get an email probably four or five days after saying, hey, if here's the location of the recording. Okay. So yeah, definitely register. And I suppose if you want it later and you didn't get to register, I'm going to try to keep them. We're going to try to keep them, you know, to give to our tree commissions, you know, over yeah. time, especially ones that are really. Well, yeah, yeah. The master, the master you're, you're, gardeners were able to do that. And it worked really well. If you couldn't make it to the scheduled time, you could go to the website and see the recordings anytime that you're, you know, at you, at you were free. It was really helpful. The other place that you can put things is in YouTube if your technical people have set up something mm. to do that. There's uh, uh, one of the groups that I've uh, been <laughs> trying to follow in webinars where they've got restrictions on the number of connections during the meeting. Um, I've missed out on being able, able to be present in the meeting, but then I've been able to watch the webinar on YouTube. Okay. Thanks. This is through Adobe Connect. Um, I'm not that familiar with Adobe Connect. No, no, no. It's, it's, it, it, I, I'm not asking you to know how to do it, but if okay. the technical people that you're working with, they, they may know how to, how to put up a YouTube tech channel that have these things yeah. on them, and then that okay. becomes a, an easier place to keep things. Okay. I will, I will definitely ask about that. Thanks. It also, it also means that people don't have to register to see them later on. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we might do that afterwards, but we do want people yeah. to register because we want to gauge, oh, yeah. you know, our in, the engagement. Yeah. yeah. But these the, the, the sort of things people. that you, the sort of things that you do don't don't go out of date quickly. Uh, you know, tree, trees are going to be trees for the next 100 years. <laughs> yeah. Yes, David, but we learn new things about them. Of and course some you of the do. things we thought we knew don't yeah. turn out to not to be quite correct. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, things change, but many things stay the same. <laughs> think, ah, Peter, you're back. Physics is physics, man. Right? <laughs> yes. 
escape. Peter, can you um, tell us any more about the uh, the, the process for Title Thirty Seven revisions? Um, you know, that was uh, you know just being introduced at, at committee. Um, it was it was the first time that I had I had seen it. Um, you know, there is there is a cleanup to the uh, to the native uh, uh, to the plant list to the native species. Um, there is uh, codifying a, a tree bank. Um, those were the two points that I kind of zeroed in on, um, and then just some cleaning up of language. Um, but but yeah, overall, let me um, let me put that forward because I was um, I figured somebody was working um, with Member Fall from from this committee um, because she didn't have any um, discussions with with me about it, which I was fine, um, you know, about it. But I just uh, no, any of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, I have a question for you. Uh, will there be a council meeting where public comment can be made? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That can be uh, that. That can happen uh, next week at first read. So the question I was trying to ask you when we had technical problems: Do, yeah. Does the native plant thing uh, apply to the trees in Title Thirty Seven? It does. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's okay. Uh, Anything else for the good of the order before we look at the uh, minutes? If not, if, I think is everybody there that's on the list of participants, or is that just a list of everybody who belongs? Who else is is, is Emily there? Yes, uh, Emily's been here. A Emily's been there. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Emily. <laughs> One so comment I'd like to make uh, for, for, for the good of trees is I've noticed more sycamore seedlings this year than I've seen in the past. And I don't know if there's a reason for that or if I have just been lucky or if birds are planting them or what. But uh, I have a number. I, I've potted up some of them. So if anybody wants a sycamore tree, I would be happy to share. I learned something the other day too that's interesting. Um, I've mentioned to a couple people that uh, on Eden Street, there are four new oak and four new, um, uh, the uh, um, cedar that drops it, what do you call it? The cedar that drops the their needles in the, in the, in the winter. And then bald there's cypress? Huh? Bald, bald cypress. cypress. Yeah, the bald cypress. Thank you. And then on down the street, there's another four oak trees. And I I talked to, uh, I ran into Mason Chambers the other day uh, in that area. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> he was involved in the plantings. And evidently, they were purchased by uh, public housing. And um, so, you know, remember that to do we had with them about cutting down trees. That's why they planted them. Yeah. So it paid off. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they managed 75 properties within the city of Athens. 75 properties. And some are not places where we can plant, but I've been to all of them. And there's a lot of planting opportunities. And they have a new director. Their, their director of 40 years just retired. And it would be a great opportunity while this, I don't know who the new person is yet, but to maybe, you know, meet the, the new director and while they're new and open-minded, um, talk to them about trees and how they lower stress and they, they add curb appeal and, um, you yeah. know, their properties better integrate into the greater community. Um, These are beautiful, beautiful. And they're, and they're like not tiny seedlings. They're, yeah. you know, like five, six feet tall. I mean, maybe bigger than that. Nice yeah, they, they they did their best to they were yeah. you know the community had some concerns about what they did when they removed those trees yeah and when they kind of did things in a vacuum and they, they that was their way to show the community they cared and they wanted to put things back so you might even say thanks you know so I noticed you know I mean I bet yes. you yes. said thanks to them or that's what I was thinking know. maybe there's some way that we could thank whoever is responsible. And maybe we could encourage them to plant trees next time that actually provide more shade. Well, I think what we have to do, it's like everything. You can't just plant a tree and walk away. 
we have to encourage them to, you know, they need to be planting uh, trees every year and taking care of the trees that they have, just like they take care of the pipes and the sidewalks and the gutters. You know, trees just need to be a part of their maintenance. But, um, but I think a card from the tree commission would do wonders. If somebody wanted to take that on, just, just it's to the Metropolitan Housing Authority. Even if you don't put a name on it, um, you know, or easily you could probably call them and find out who the new director is, or I could do that if you wanted. If do you have a name, maybe we just call them and, and ask them to come to our meeting or something. Um, they, Keith was the old director. He's great. Um, I can't remember his last name right now, but I don't know who the new person is. I, I can, I can try to find that out, but um, I, I think the best thing to do is just, I mean, I think if somebody, you know, people don't get thanked anymore. And if they got a letter in the mail or a little card, there's a card from the Athens tree commission saying, good job. Thanks for planting all those trees. Well, it just so happens that I have had brought that up before that we could possibly send cards to people who plant trees. <laughs> so I agree. <laughs> I think we could do it to not just them, but to other people too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yous are important. Good job. Well, Nancy. I'm just thinking about all the problems we had with them planting the wrong trees and taking out trees that uh, it's good that we've got some trees back but uh, you don't get the shade back from the trees they took down in no. the first place well i'll tell you you know it's it that i spent a lot of time i walked like i said i went to every property with him and that, that was you know and he gave me all that time i mean you, you and here's a guy that knew nothing about trees until people started complaining um, but yeah, it's it's not something that is going to just happen overnight. We're going to have to hold their hand and develop a relationship with them. Um, so and then the places, I, the places that the plant, the places where he planted these new trees, there weren't any trees. He was, nothing was cut down. Well, just, some of them were where those pears were. You might not remember. He cut down a whole there, that one big lot where the bald cypress and the pin oaks were. There were a whole bunch of pear trees and and there were pear trees, but who wants pear trees? Well, that's but I had if I hadn't worked with him, they would there you still have pear trees there and no oaks. I mean it 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 it's you know it was it was there were I'm no big shade the, trees there. What, what's that, Nancy? There were no big shade trees there. There were there no, were four no. little little pear trees. But now there's shade trees. Yeah, that's why I say I mean, we could we could get a lot more. They, like I said, I I think that again, it's like any entity. Um, we just got to bring them along. There's so many planting sites. I didn't want them to plant 50 trees, you know, or 100 trees in one year, and not have a way to take care of them, and you know, have them die all this year. So my what I told him was, I want this to be a five year project. Let's plant a few trees every year for five years. And then review it, you know. And then he then he told me he's retiring. So, you well, know, we maybe gotta, what we oh, could do is send a note person. of thanks, of appreciation, and then offer our services <laughs> for suggestions for trees to put in in the future. So they will have, they won't just have to be making these decisions on their own, or maybe. Oh, getting Anne, <laughs> who yeah. has uh, a lot of other things to do, but uh, yeah. you know, getting them to realize there's a tree commission, and we're happy to help them. Yeah, I, I think that's great. Could we have? Can we? Could we get some card, some uh, postcards printed up? Do you think, David? I don't have a budget. I can bring no, cards. No, Nancy, you, okay, I'm stopping at your house. I'm going to drop you a bunch of cards off, okay? <laughs> and I'll even postmark them, you know, put postage on them. But no, I think it's just. It would be nice if we had some some cards that had something on it that had to do with trees. and we could I just use, like, I just try to pick something that's got trees on it or nature theme. Yeah. So we get, we get free often. cards. We get free cards. Post note cards in the mail all the time, and some of them have to do with trees. I got some from the uh, Arbor Day. Uh, yeah, cards. yeah, we could use those. Yeah, do that. I it, it can't hurt. Right. 
I'd be quite happy for one of you to volunteer to do that, certainly. Okay. Uh, I will I will contact them, and uh, I just need a little help with the, uh, um, the address, but I, I think Nancy can get that for me. I'll email it to you. I'm gonna, I'll try to find out who's in charge now and get you the address and stuff. Excellent. Great, great, Thank great, you. great. So back to the minutes. Um, I think I've got all the people present uh, who were present in there, but do, do check that I've got your name in there if you were at the last meeting. Um, so I'll move that we accept the minutes uh, for the July 9th meeting as presented. Thank you, John. I'll second the minutes. Thank you, David. Is there any further discussion or questions about the minutes? If not, uh, are there any objections to approving the minutes? Hearing none, we have minutes, and I will forward these on to the city for publication. Um, the final piece is uh, our next meeting is due to be September the 10th, uh, 7 p.m. again on Zoom. Uh, and with that, we are adjourned. Thank good you. evening, all. all right. Good night. It was good to see you.